Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at cyan, magenta and yellow, CMY. CMY are kind of opposites of RGB. So if you remember RGB, remember CMY, those are the opposites of one another. And the way they work together is in every red pixel, in fact every pixel, there's a bit of red, there's a bit of green and a bit of blue. There is not any of these colours. These colours are constructed. But so what we've got on your screen is red, green and blue. On your printer, it's the other way around. Printed, printers do have these three. They don't have the RGB because of the way that it works. The way we can combine these together is cyan is made up of a combination of green and blue. So think of these together here, green and blue. You know, you've got 255, 255 there, so you've kind of added them together here. Naught and naught comes down to the cyan. And you could do the same in the combinations for magenta and for yellow. And in fact, if you use the, because it, this is like adding them, adding these columns of the, of the two colours, we can actually do a kind of trick here where I can actually create these by bringing those up together. And this works here because up here I've got the add blend mode here, so I'm adding the red here to the green beneath it here on these layers, which means the red and the green, the 255, the two and zero there give you the yellow 255, the zero and the 255 give the 255, and the zero and zero give you zero. And so these all mix together, and when they're all added up together, add up all these three together, each of these three columns, you get 255, 255, 255, which is white. We can do something similar with the CMY. We're going to do something a slightly different trickier maths with this, but we can make it work when we get these two brought up together and this one up to here. They don't, at the moment, if they're normal, they're just adding up because they're adding up to the, to the zero. But if we just take these two, and rather than say add, we go down to, where is it? Here we go multiply and look it's kind of fixed it and that's because we are multiple when we multiply things here for example let's look at the cyan and the magenta cyan and magenta here if we 255 times naught is naught which you got in the blue 255 times naught there is naught which is in the blue 255 times 255 is a big number but it never ever can go above 255, so it just sticks at the maximum, so we'll get back to blue that way. So it's always worth thinking of these as the inversions. You can also think of it as being 255 minus, so red to cyan, 255 minus 255 is naught, and 255 minus naught is 255, 255 minus naught is that, so it's 255 minus. Um, it's also a way of getting from one to the other, which you can also do in here with an invert. Let's have a look in at them, these here. There's another look. Here's the colour wheel, and what you see is the red going through into yellow, and the green, cyan, blue and magenta. And what you get here is the yellow is a halfway point between two colours. Yeah, because what you get around here is it's all reddish, it's, red is a dominant colour around here until it gets where here you've got half red and half um, green. And similarly around here, the cyan is at that halfway stage. It doesn't know whether it wants to be blue and it doesn't know whether it wants to be green. So in the middle, it sticks that cyan. So it actually pulls out that colour by that sort of undecided middle point. And that's why you get these secondary colours standing out as distinct colours because the primary colours can't pull it one way or the other, they're balanced out. And last of all, let's have a look at dragging these together to make them work. For this, uh, let's take the one here and we're going to drag this across here onto this one. 
I'm going to drag this one way here across onto the, this one. That's not quite ready yet because we're going to do one more thing, which I'm going to go to the group here and insert an invert. And the reason we do that is because we already inverted the RGB and then we just do an invert again and there's back to the original picture. Ole! Hope you found that interesting and thank you very much for watching.